itchy y'all like it's so 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 itchy but i got so much new makeup and i'm so so excited i've been literally like buying so much makeup lately and i could not i haven't used anything i could not wait to record a video i'm so excited i'm gonna put my hair away though i just wanted to show y'all because i've actually y'all know if you watch my lock videos that i recently just got my um rope twist and then i did a rope twist takedown i just got my hair done again and i usually like to record my um wash retwist and stop control but i just got rope twist again because i just like i felt like i just did not get enough the first time i had them but i'm gonna put my hair away because i'm about to do my makeup guys i'm so excited i have not i love doing makeup videos but i just was trying to find a really good like setting and background and lighting for y'all but this is gonna have to work i hope this is good because usually it looks really good on the camera and it looks washed out or worse because i actually recorded a valentine's day makeup tutorial which i will show you but i recorded it it came out the makeup came out like amazing i love the way the makeup looked but when i put the footage on the camera it i mean on the computer i was so like hurt it looked so bad and i really was trying to get that video off of you guys and i was like dang like I, my video i was gonna re-record it but then my grandma passed away and i was like really sad for a week so then i didn't i never got to recording the um makeup tutorial for valentine's day but i was like nothing's gonna stop me back and better here we go i do kind of leave my baby hairs out though because i like for i don't like my baby hairs look too dark because i have really thick baby hairs if you can tell so i don't like when they look too dark so i kind of like when my like bronzer kind of gives them a flush light brown over and makes my baby hairs look softer okay so my face is dry i have no moisturizer on Fonz moisturizer i used to use this when i was in high school because my mom she used to use this growing up and i had acne really bad not really bad but i had a no, it was kind of bad i kind of had bad acne in high school my mom was just trying to help me find stuff to work for me so this is what i'm trying i used to use my estee lauder i still do have my estee lauder moisturizer i need a thick cream the estee lauder is a cream but it's like a, a thin cream it's really nice but i need a thick cream my face has been doing like bad i used to use this nivea post shave balm nivea yeah post shave balm and i feel like this is moisturizing i don't know i remember this was a really big thing so i got it and this is moisturizing but i know that because my face has this like red little rashes on it this is kind of going to irritate it because it is like a shaving balm after you shave and i do kind of have like a little rash so i think i'm gonna go in with my nicks I'm like really torn right now because I know this is moisturizing. This kind of makes me feel like it moisturizes my skin, but I don't think it's that's what it's supposed to do. It does. It is supposed to make you look dewy, but this really feel like I just spit. This really feels like um it moisturizes my skin. So I, I think I'm gonna go on with this. Is this for sensitive skin though? I don't know. I'm going with my NYX. I don't want it to like irritate my skin because it does kind of sting a little bit, especially because my skin is actually like rashy. If I didn't show y'all, I use my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. So this is my dilemma right now. I have the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation that people have been talking about. People was talking about it and I was like, I really, really want to get this thing. Then I have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation that I told y'all in my last makeup video that I was going to use in my next makeup video. Then I have the Fenty Foundation and because today I'm going to be using the Fenty Concealer, I feel like I I should use the Fenty foundation and my cousin told me that the Fenty concealer works very well with the Fenty foundation but then again this is a little bit too orange for me right now but I can also just make it work I am torn in between the three it's not that big of a deal because I've got plenty of makeup videos in the future so I can just I can use these products and then that's a reason for y'all to subscribe and come back for more I think I'm gonna just go on with the Fenty foundation because I want to use the Fenty concealer and I'm using the Fenty powder and I just feel like I feel like I just have to you know I'm torn between if I want to use a beauty blender or if I want to use a brush because my friend Cassie recently got me a new set of brushes and these are the BH Cosmetics brushes. They are so freaking pretty. Oh my god. I'm going to use this um little Kabuki brush. This is brush number two from this pink rose goldy looking set. I can make this work I guess. I'll make it work. I don't use a lot of foundation either. Oh the brush feels so soft but I'll probably still take it. I'll probably still be able to take my beauty blender over my whole face once I use the brush to blend it out it's really not as yellow as it's coming off on camera like it is a lot more even than my skin tone but it's not it's, it matches me actually really good but i think it's because of these lights i got a ring light over here a like cool tone bulb right here i'm just trying to make sure it's bright enough for y'all i'm not even going to take my beauty blender and go around it it actually looks pretty good to me so now we can just move into i think i'm going to do i don't know if i want to do cream contouring first or my under eye concealer because i'm the type of person i really bounce back and forth between doing my cream contour and you know you just have a routine to make up i just between my cream 
cream contour and my under eye concealer I don't ever really have a routine like I do one or the other either way for first or second I always switch it up I think I'm gonna do my cream contour first today so for cream contour I'm gonna use my L'Oreal infallible Longwear shaping stick I love this thing I love it it's originally $12 in the store I got it also on sale for $3.99 and they're still in stores at $12.99 so I had to stay and I got three of them after I bought them, I found out that Nicole Guerrero really, really likes these. And that made me feel good because she's like one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm taking this Jessup Dual Fiber Powder Blush Brush. I use it for contour. I just feel like it works so well. And you can see it's dirty. I use, This is the only brush I use to um, blend down my cream contour. I always make my contour and well my cream contour and make sure I push it up in my hairline. My mindset with makeup is practice makes perfect. So I just want to try crazy stuff. Looking good to me. Blended out my cream contour. Now we're gonna go in with concealer. I like the way this looks. Taking my Max Fix Plus to re-wet re -wet my beauty blender. I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Concealer in the color, um, what color is this? 310. Is it going to show? Ooh. My foundation is in the color um, 330. But one, I did tell y'all it's a little bit too dark for me. And two, either way, I, I, would've got, I wouldn't have got the matching concealer because I like my concealer to be brighter. Bright. I, I have been using this for a while. No, I only use, I'm, well, not for a while. I've had it for a minute. I had it literally since it came out. But um, I've only used it about, I think, I think this is my either my fourth or fifth time using it. And two times I used it, I wiped it off immediately because I just was like, I don't feel like. I feel like it's a really good concealer. But I feel like under your eyes it creases really quickly once you set it and take like blend it creases out really well and once you set it with the powder it is a really really nice concealer but I feel like when like upon application the creasing is really annoying to me. I'm not even the type of person that has a creasing problem and this concealer crease for me, you know. So it's just like I can see if I was just somebody who would have creasing often, but I don't have creasing often, so it was just like why is this creasing? I would buy this concealer again. I would only wear it for the finish so often. But if you catch it, it looks amazing. I will be honest. This is my first time wearing the, because I have worn this concealer like out, out before, but this is my first time wearing the concealer with the actual Fenty foundation, and I feel like my cousin was definitely onto something. It does look amazing. I didn't care to pair them because I'm like, you shouldn't have to use the foundation. Okay, so to set this powder in, probably to set my whole face. No, I'm not going to use this to set my whole face. To set my under eye concealer, the Fenty um, concealer, I'm going to use this powder to set that. I don't even know why I just said that like that. Like, I, as I was telling you, I was thinking, should I use it? I might use it I don't know I really want y'all to see this like mm -hmm. it creases really quickly I'm so happy I can show you that I feel bad but I'm just telling y'all my opinion you know so to set my under eye I think I'm gonna go in with a brush I'm gonna use this brush right here and just pack that powder under there just because I really want to set this concealer really well and I feel like a brush is gonna get in there for me and also because I want to use these brushes so here we go and also I have the color the powder banana I just took the remaining powder that was left on that brush and set the rest of the points where I had where where I had put concealer. Where I put the concealer at. Also, I realized that the Rihanna to me, I feel like I'm talking ish and I'm not. I really love Rihanna stuff. To me, the Rihanna um setting powders are really drying, but I feel like again there's a but. Once you spray them down with some type of setting spray, they set really nice. But when you look at it, it does cling to your dry patches and stuff. And I've had other powders that don't cling to my dry patches at all. They just set it. Really really smooth and really nice and I realized this one is it definitely let me see if I can show you you can see it clings to my dry patches a lot but once I spray it down with the powder it looks really 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 nice to me so to set the rest of my face I'm gonna attempt to go on with this Sephora micro smooth powder I did hit pan so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick up as much as I want so I might go back in with the Fenty powder because just a light flush of that because I don't want it to be yellow everywhere the problem I've been having lately is I've been using really really fluffy soft brushes to set my face and I feel like they haven't been setting my face very well like if you can see how my cream contour is still like kind of creamy and wet it's blended out very well but it needs 
needs to be set. I feel like me taking those light pot, those light brushes have not been working. So I want to take a denser brush to like swirl in there and pack it in and make sure I set it, set it. That's what I want to, I've seen somebody do that recently and I know that's been a problem I've been having. So I'm going to get in there and pick up a good amount of powder and just go in and set my face. But I want that cream contour to set. I don't want it to be moving around. And that's the problem. I haven't had a problem with it moving around, but I just realized it's, it hasn't looked as set as I want it to look. And I feel like I don't feel secure with that. I feel like it's like a liquid lip gloss that's not dry. You just like can touch it and it'll transfer. I don't want that for my face. So I'm going to, I'm not going to like, usually I just, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. today I'm going to set it and pack it in. I want my face to be set, set. So I did not have to use that Fenty powder. I feel like that set very well. I did hit pan on my micro smooth powder and that's my favorite powder that set my face. So I need to hurry up and um, get some more. And I was just at Sephora the other day. Like I was really at Sephora like two days ago, Friday and it's, Saturday. So to set to basically bronze my face to set my bronzer, set my cream contour better and more. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with this NYX matte bronzer. I love this. This is my favorite bronzer right now. I feel like it's literally the perfect bronzer. I love single pan things of one thing because I feel like I have so much rather than like a shared palette of it. But I'm gonna use this angle jessa brush, the white set. I will try to list this in the description box below as well. I don't know if they still sell these. I had these brushes for like three years. Hopefully I don't go too crazy because I be going crazy with my bronzer and I know I do. I don't care. I be like look i'm trying to look snatched up sometimes my makeup be looking crazy but i like it you know makeup is just makeup is, is not no rules to this like i can look crazy if i want to people be telling me that know me i can't wear that much makeup you can't i can and sometimes when i think about the concept of makeup i'm like i just got all this fake stuff on my face making me look cute like it's weird to think about it like that but the shit looks fly but i'm like at the end of the day we got all the, we got all this fake stuff on our body our clothes that make us look cute so this is my face clothes like what do you mean i feel like my face is looking real like it's coming together like so the one thing that i'm kind of worried about right not worried but like i don't really know what to do right now i have this new product this is the nyx go away glow in the color glazed donut it's a liquid highlighter i've never used a liquid highlighter before i don't know i don't know what to do like i don't know if i should have done this done, la, 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 la. i don't know if i should have done this before i set my under eye because there's like a powder there now but i feel like if any place hasn't been set or touched the most it's been this because i placed that powder up to here and then i set my face around here so it isn't that set but in the same token y'all know i had to set my under eye set my face because i i need my stuff to be together like getting it together looking good settling in i think going with this later and now I'm gonna move into doing my eyebrows I want I feel I'm feeling like eyebrow pencils today I usually use a pomade but I'm feeling like eyebrow pencils today but I have a bunch of like skinny eyebrow pencils I just got my new NYX micro brow pencil so I'm feeling like a pencil today I'm definitely gonna use my NYX micro brow pencil in black because I have thicker brows so I use the black on my tail to make sure my you feel me? I like to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Caramel. I also have the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the color Black and Black. Oh, Black and Brown. It's a dash next to that, so I, just, I thought it was a W. And then I also have the LA Girl, yeah, LA Girl Shady Brow Pencil. And these are all really skinny brow pencils, and I really like that because I feel like I have more control. I don't know which one I want to use, though. I'm going to see how they all feel because I like them. I don't like, even if it's a small pencil, I don't like creamy pencils. I like pencils that have a little bit more toughness to them. You got to drag it out a little bit more and work a little harder for the payoff that way i know it's like kind of waxy and a consistency that's gonna stay rather than something that's gonna slide around i do i don't know i don't think i'm gonna i don't think i'm gonna use the color pop pencil i feel like the color pop pencil even though it's small and nice is very creamy not very but it's creamier than i would like so i'm gonna go in with the la girl pencil first if i don't like the way it looks because i don't like browns that are like brown like kind of ready browns That's usually as much as I fill them in. Like I find sparse areas, but that's as big as I make them because I take my micro brow pencil by NYX in the color black, which is like my favorite. I need to get, I, I can, every time I go get the micro brow pencil, they only have the black color and I can't find the brown. But honestly, if I could find a micro brow pencil in the color right above black, I would literally be, that would be the only brow product that I use, but I never can find it. So I just get the black one to do my tail. Cause like I, it's the best thing that like points out my tail. Like my tail would be like, ding. I do, I think I like this, um, LA Colors. I mean, LA Girl Brow Pencil. The Shady Brow Pencil, is that what it's called? Shady. I have my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand. I'm my favorite concealer of all time. I'm so satisfied with the way this video is coming out so far, and I'm just going to speak it into existence. I'm not going to say hopefully, because it is. 
Now I'm just, I just took my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going over my lid just to, um, I was going to use the Fenty to prime my lid to be honest, but I just grabbed it because I just, I was talking to y'all and I just didn't think about it. Plus I like my Tarte Shape Tape anyway and I feel like whenever I use my Tarte Shape Tape to prime, prime my lid, my eyeshadow comes out so like smooth and flawless so I'm okay. I'm comfortable with using this on my lid. I set it just with well, the leftover powder that was on this brush that I used to set my under eyes and there we go. Now we're ready. I want to use my Juvia's Place palette, and I have a look that literally I would only use this one palette for. Then I also have this new e.l.f. palette that I want to use. But I did kind of dip into this a little bit, and the powders were a little, the, like the eyeshadows were a little bit chalky to me just from what I initially swatched, so I really don't feel like I'm in the mood to deal with that today. So I'm going to do the look that I have in mind that requires me to use my Juvia's Place palette, because I've had this palette for about a year and a half, never used it. Any other palette I have in there is fairly new. I'm going to just use this one today just so I can get some use out of it because it's been here for so long. She's been so loyal to me and I've never used her so I'm gonna use her today. So I found me a nice little brush and I have to go in with this orange color from the new from the palette. I'm gonna go in with this orange color here. I'm gonna go in with this palette that I used in my um, a recent makeup tutorial that I did. I really like this color. Yes I love this color right here. I feel like it's my perfect literally it's my perfect crease color. So I'm gonna use this just to initially go in and create a transition color. Not my perfect crease color. It's my, per my perfect transition color for my skin tone so I'm gonna go in with that first just to give me a base even though my other looks where I would just go in with the right the color immediately that I wanted to use it will come out good but adding a, a transition color really just gives you like that really nice smooth gradient effect from your from your lid to your eyebrow and it just it makes it look more professional it makes it really is a step that makes it look better like my looks were cute they were good they were nice but it was just like the transition color is just an even higher elevation into like a makeup technique i feel like it really really does help but i'm taking that not really in my crease but really like right above my crease right there Okay, I feel like that's a pretty good transition color. It looks pretty good. I feel like that's enough. But you can kind of see it. It's like the same skin tone as me a little bit, but with a little bit of a different, like, you know? So I'm going to go back in with the same brush and go in with, to the Juvia's Place palette with this orange right here. And that color is called Morocco. I'm so excited to use this palette, y'all. I'm so excited. And I'm just going to take that orange, like, low-key in the same spot as my transition color, but maybe a tiny bit underneath it. Just so we can still have that, you know, gradient effect. I don't know. I feel like this color is not as deep as I want it to be. Like, I want a deeper orange. So I I'm, I'm going to have to branch outside of this palette. Sorry, y'all. I have, like, my modern... I have like my modern renaissance palette that has i don't know how to pronounce these colors i said this color is called railgar realgar something from the anastasia modern renaissance palette and i feel like this orange right here is so much deeper like it's not so much deeper but it creates a deeper effect this is like a soft burnt orange soft deep orange but i feel like this color is going to be a little bit more of what i want so i'm going to go in with that right over right in the crease more in the crease than going over that whole orange because i do like that it blends out softer but i'm just going to I want it to be a little bit deeper. So we're going to go back into the Juvia's Place. Also, this is the Juvia's, the, the Nubian 2 palette. I just was saying this is a Juvia's Place palette, but it's Nubian 2. I'm going to go in with the color Jezebel. This is like a purple color. Can you see that? And I want to go in with another Jessup brush. This is a tapered blending brush, and I'm trying to, you know, it's tapered. So I want it to get a little bit more in my crease. I'm swirling my brush in that, just the tip of my brush. This brush is tapered. It comes to a point. And I'm going to go, like, try to get, like, right in my crease under there, right where that line is, and just blend that color in. And I'm going to build that up until I feel like it's good enough. I do feel like this Juvia's Place palette could be a little bit more pigmented, to be honest. And this one, I've, I find myself having to tap into a little bit more often than I would like to. I'm going to take this brush from, this is the number 7 brush out of that BH Cosmetics brush set I've been using. I'm just going to take that color, that same purple, well, that's definitely not. I'm taking that purple. I'm just going to pack that on my inner and outer corner because I am trying to create a halo eye. So, from this Juvia's Place palette, um, I'm really not that impressed right now, but I, I, it could just be me, y'all. It could just be me. But I'm going to go in with a flat brush and I'm going to go in with this color right here. If this color is not as bright as I want it to be then I'm just gonna go in with that color right there because it's just a little bit more yellow but I'm gonna take it's called Nefertiti which is the more um orangey one and then Nairobi is the more yellow one I will let y'all know if I use Nairobi but I'm just gonna use my max fix plus and spray my brush 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop using the um, Juvia's Place palette. I'm, I really just not right now. I have to work with that at a different time. I'm gonna go on with this super purpley color right here. Take this small brush right here. I'm gonna try to build up that. Make it like if adding this like kind of like hot purple should brighten up this deepness. I think. I think. Hopefully, it doesn't go bad. Yes, it's, it is. Okay, okay. Yay, I might be saving the day. It is definitely saving the day a little bit more than I thought it would because it was just looking real muddy to me. I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm gonna keep going back with this brush. I really like the way that brush like just made those edges look better. I might go back in just a little bit, just a little bit with some orange, just around that purple, just so I can orangey it up just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. I'm literally trying to do a whole eyeshadow look on top of a another eyeshadow look to make it bring it to bring like bring it back. So please forgive me, y'all. I'm trying to fix this because I really do gotta go somewhere. I'm taking this bright yellow. I mean this bright orange out the thing. I'm taking it tiniest bit on the tip and just going around. The formula of the eyeshadows to me, it didn't blend. It doesn't blend well together. It's just like they're all going into one color, and it's not like where I'm placing one color is taking on the form of something else. Like. I'm taking that purple in the inner and outer corner like I did with that other purple that just did not work out. But now I'm gonna take this Steel of Magnificent Metal in this like orangey color, like I used that like orangey color from that previous place, but just to make it more glittery and more like poppy and like, you know what I'm saying, sparkly and nice. I'm not trying to look up too much. So it doesn't transfer. And I'm gonna take that purple and just kind of go up, go around that gold so it's like blended into something and it's not just like boom, gold. So for my lower lash line first, I'm gonna go in with my transition color just a little bit. I'm gonna go with my transition color and this color. I feel like that will make it, it will be easier. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go in with this chocolate color, Sibris Umber, and I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, the chocolate collapse right there. I'm gonna take that right underneath my lash line. And that's just to deepen it back up before I put that really light purple over it because that's what we initially did during the mistake process and now we're gonna go back in with that same color i've been using to apply the purple everywhere with that same purple out of this little cheap dollar store palette y'all see how pigmented like this little beauty supply store palette blended better than the juvia's place palette to me so i'm not taking that l and saying that was my technique because i feel like I, I brought this look back together okay using a two dollar palette so it had to be the product fuck that All right, dumb the crazy ass eyes. So now we're gonna move on to mascara. Now I'm gonna go in with my Better Than Sex mascara. It's dried the hell out, but I love this stuff. So my favorite lashes right now are these um, lashes. I don't want to say this brand because I don't I don't care about the brand. I care about the type. So I have another brand, same type of lash, but a whole nother brand. I just love this fluttery, but it's the same lash. You can tell it's the same lash. It's two different brands. I love this style of lash. I just use hair glue to apply my lashes. Some people don't agree with that. Do you use what makes you comfortable? I've been using this for years. It has not bothered my eyes ever. I didn't want to pinch my eye, so now that I'm done, I can tell y'all because I didn't want to put it in the atmosphere. And the universe be like, pinch your eye, why not? You gotta keep the negativity to a minimum. Favorite. Let me zoom y'all back out. 
wow that's definitely not zoomed out but what's up <laughs> this powder is pretty much settled in and it just has clinged to my dry patches but once i set it and i spray it it's gonna that dry look that it's giving you right here is gonna look so different and it looks good this powder looks good once you set it down but it does cling to your dry patches initially yo i'm tripping i need to finish my eyes i can't even think right now i'm gonna go in with my wet and wild mega length mascara the purple one with the little skinny handle it really does well at getting a hold of my lower lashes I'm gonna zoom y'all back in. You see how it looks? Added that. I'm gonna be extra. I'm going with another mascara. This pink one. This is the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara Plus or Max Volume Plus Mascara. Who knows? But it's this one. nice one. And you see that? Bomb! I'm gonna go on my waterline with this black liner. This is just some cheap little black liner I got from somewhere. So for my inner corner, I was actually going to be using this highlighter today. This is the Wet n Wild Loose Powder. This is the Wet n Wild Loose Highlighter Powder. And this shit, let me tell you, bruh, I don't even want to do it because I hate being, you know how all YouTubers do that thing where the powder falls? I don't want to be that person today, but ooh, I just wanted to. That's a highlighter, a loose highlighter. My nails look treacherous. So I'm going to go in with this little super skinny brush right here. I'm going to take this highlighter and try to put it in my inner corner. I feel like it could definitely be more pigmented. But let me spray it and see how that works. It's all right. It's all right. I'm gonna put a little bit on my little my um, brow bone too. I want to set my face right now because I'm really just tired of seeing this chalky like white look underneath here from the how the Fenty powder cut on like clinging to my dry patches. I'm gonna go in with a, just my setting powder, to, my setting spray to just get that. I'm tired of looking at it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on with this powder. I have been watching this um, girl, this lady girl, I don't know what to call her people, but on YouTube named Stephanie something, I don't know. But she uses liquid highlighters a lot. So I'm just gonna apply them the way she does. Cause to me, she's like the queen of liquid highlighter, but I just took it and dropped it on my cheek. And I'm gonna just go over it with this and try to like blend it out really well. I took a lot for me not to know what the hell I'm doing. Oh God. Help me. I'm just gonna use my sponge. Oh wow, that looks so good. Well, I'm not gonna say so good. The color payoff is good. It's not blended out good at all. It looks good. Oh, take a little bit more right there. Y'all, that's so nice. That is so nice. That is so nice. Like, God. I do have to work on learning how to blend it out better, but initially that is so nice. I'm so freaking like, oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed. Obsessed! I think I'm gonna take the remainder from the sponge onto my forehead because I don't want my forehead to be too shiny because you know your forehead is like your T zone area and it could just come off real oily. Ooh! I don't know why I didn't use the sponge. Do y'all see that? Like liquid highlighter, what? And I still gotta put a highlighter on top. <laughs> so okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with this this um liquid hot this loose highlighter from Wet and Wow. It's so much in the top. Like that's the top is not white. That's just the highlighter on the top. Like if I move my hand, the, the top is black. So I'm gonna go in with just what's on the top. I'm gonna take my Morphe M510 brush. I'm gonna tap. Like, I'm talking about tap. I'm gonna dust it off because I don't want to look crazy. And I'm just gonna take it very lightly over. Blend that in. I don't want it to be like a streak. Then I'm taking it and going around it, like just around those edges. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh shit. I feel like, oh my God. 
But in while, they definitely did their thing with this. So. Moving on to the lips, I want to do a matte lip, so I just, I need to wipe off this Carmex. I only put the Carmex on because I wanted my lips to be like moisturized. But now I need to wipe this off and I don't even know what to use. So I'm gonna go in with this lip liner. I got this lip liner from um, Forever 21. It is a soft contouring essence lip liner and it's in the color Ghost 09 Ghost Steady. It's like a mauve color. I feel like it matches pretty well with my um, eyes. I also have this one I got from Forever 21 too the other day, but I'm gonna do it. I did a haul video that y'all should have already saw. A lot of the products that y'all saw today were in that haul video. Plus whatever I didn't use would be in the next makeup video. So just subscribe and stay tuned. But I'm gonna take this lip liner around my lip. I think I'm gonna take it on my whole lip, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna take it on my whole lip yet. So I'm gonna see how it looks. Hopefully it applies nice. I need to probably wipe off more of my Carmex. This is Dulce K. Maybe I can put this in the center. I low-key want to take a little bit of this liquid liner. I mean liquid liner. Liquid highlighter and put it in the center of this lip. I don't know what that's going to look like. Ooh. What do y'all think? I'm so happy. I want to see what it looks like with my hair down. I feel like that bitch, like, oh my God. I literally live, like, I literally live -ing. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to do some makeup. I don't know, I love makeup. Makeup is a, like a passion of mine. Makeup was a passion before anything else was and I feel like I don't do as much makeup on my channel as I would like to. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I'm, I love everything. Like, my favorite things in this video I have to tell y'all was this NYX Away We Glow liquid highlighter and then this Wet n Wild Loose highlighter. Fire. Like, oh my god. Fire. The Fenty Foundation, I told y'all how I feel about that. The Fenty powder, I told y'all how I feel about that. The Juvia's Place palette, I was not impressed by that. Like, I don't know. I, maybe I'm gonna go back in and try something else, but I took a $2 palette to fix that and clean it up. And y'all see with that, like, it came out good, but it looked really muddy to start off. Like, it wasn't what I wanted, but, mm, and I'm really liking this Kylie Jenner's lip thing. This Kylie Jenner lip, like, the formula is just fire. Like, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun filming this video for you guys. I cannot wait to do more makeup looks with you guys and try new products and try more products and just, I'm so happy and try to, again, expand my makeup creativity. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this year. 2019 is just so exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video and go check out some of my old videos as well. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.